Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zeke and welcome to my second tutorial and uh, <clears throat> In this tutorial we're going to take a look at GIMP 2.8. So uh, Let me just create a file real quick. There we go Doesn't really matter what you're gonna have in here. Uh, it, it's no big deal um, All right, let's have it not, not black. Let's Yeah, let's have it as this color. All right <clears throat> I like it. So, in this episode, we're going to focus on the gradient tools. So, this is a very, very cool thing to mess around with. I'm gonna teach you how can you use it, what you can do with it. So, uh, first of all, uh, let's just uh, let's just keep it the way it was. All right. Oops. So, oh, little cheeky area here. Whatever. Don't mind about that, guys. Hopefully you don't mind. That, that's just my bad. So first of all, you gotta go to this text layer here, this thing, and you're gonna choose the area where you're going to write, in, you know, something where your text is gonna be. And uh, let's write... Oops, that's the wrong language. I apologize. Let's write YouTube. So I'm just gonna change... Let's just make this a little bit more bigger. Just just a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay, hopefully that's too that's good. Now on your right side you have a uh, let's say a layer panel, layers panel. So you have your background, it should say background here, I, I just have a different language. And uh, the second one should be your text. So this is very useful for making thumbnails. I personally use this Photoshop software for most of my thumbnails. It, it works out perfectly. So you gotta go for your text layer, right click it, and here you're gonna have a, a little red square here and it's gonna say alpha to selection. So you're gonna press that. Then you're gonna go to your gradient tool. And if you go to your right box again, uh, you, know, you know, your layer panel, you're going to have um, three little boxes here so you're gonna pick up the third one and here you're gonna have like some default colors ready for your um, uh, ready for you to use it on your gradient so you're gonna choose the yellow orange one uh, this is my favorite out of all of them so you wanna you wanna start like the where you start is gonna be the point where it starts to get lighter from darker or darker from lighter as you can see uh, you can mess around with this I personally like when I start going from the top to the bottom because that looks kind of better and I recommend going from the middle letter so one two three one two three this is the middle letter and it's it's the best if you start from there if you start from here it's all gonna be the same color because basically you just cover it with the same thing let's say you start from the middle here and go upwards that is going to, you know, uh, first from lighter, then to darker. I personally like it from darker to lighter, you know, dark, dark, light, light. Uh, now, we also have wood one. There's, these are kind of the basics one. Wood two. Well, that's actually a real nice one. I've never used that before. Tube red. Oh, this one looks disgusting. Tropical colors. Uh, this is kind of a fancy one. Three bars sin. Okay. I like this one. Uh, sunrise. Oh, that's actually real beautiful. Skyline polluted. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but there are some really, really nice ones. Oh, you can also combine them. But I, I really, really like this uh, feature, so... <clears throat> Not only you can use this gradient tool for uh, textures and stuff, you can also use it for letters, and that's really, really cool. So, um, now let's just get rid of all of it. There we go. Control Z. There we go. This is our YouTube from the beginning. <clears throat> now, let's say you want to use some colors of your own. Let's say this dark red, and let's go for dark yellow. Go to your grade and of course go to your text, alpha selection it, and then use it. Oops, I think I think I've done a mistake here. Uh, 
Um, so I think when you want to, you know, I just want to, if I do this, so I, as you can see, you can just have a lot of fun with this. Uh, you can also choose your own colors, all right? So don't worry about that. Now let's get of, let's get rid of this. All right, let's take off the selection because it's kind of annoying me. All right, it's fine. Don't really have to worry about it. Let's just delete this file. There you go. No need of that. So uh, now we're gonna use the gradient tool and we're going to make something something nice. So let's just close up this. I can't really close it. All right, we can. I think we can close it from here. Yep, there we go. Not supposed to see that, guys. All right, let's create another file. So here we have, and I have my gradient straight away. Uh, now, the thing I want you to know is, <clears throat> here you have, of course, you know, all of all of these that I showed you before. I, I just don't know how to find the default one. There we go. That's not the default that I was looking for. Uh, so yeah, it, it really doesn't matter. There we go. That's how you do it. So you can mess around with the colors. Choose any colors. Now, if you go down, you have form or like the layer thing. So now we have this. This is one. This is the cool one. This is radical. So basically, what this does is it takes. Uh, it takes the background color around the kind of the main color. You see how it's done? You see if I choose like wherever my cursor goes, there we go. It's gonna the dot's gonna be there. If I want it to be big, there we go. It's gonna be all around that area. If I want it to be in here, it's gonna be all around that area. If I want it in the middle, it's gonna be in the middle, and that's really cool. Also, we have the square looking one. You know, it's kind of gonna build up in a square. Where uh, it, it really doesn't look like a square, but it doesn't matter. Uh, then we have this one kind of shooting off the light, you know, kind of a red side shooting off the light from, you know, the yellow light. Lots of cool ones in here. Um, oh, this one, this one's actually my favorite one. Look at this. Look how many, how much cool stuff you can do with this, and you can use this on the letters as well. That's just that's just awesome. Also, here you can choose kind of, you know, uh, how do I how do I say a transparency? There we go. I forgot the word for a second, guys. Whatever. You can mess around with the transparency. Look, look. I mean, isn't this amazing? This is freaking amazing. Look at this. Look at this. It's really cool. It is really cool, guys. I really like it. So, mess around with this thing a lot. This is my first guide for the GIMP. I'm also going to do a couple for uh, the selection tools that we have. Uh, also, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. But uh, first of all, I just wanted to finish this with a gradient because I think the gradient...